Hey everybody, welcome back to another Crisis Core episode. We're going to do some extra missions. Project G was Angel's mother's experiment. Starting out with the chapter I 6 intro. Deoheim and turned him over to the company. After that, the company put me on standby. That was a while ago. Shinra is in disarray. The Turks are hanging around me every day. They say our vacations overlapped coincidentally. Yeah, right. But none of them ever mention Angeal or Genesis. Not a whisper. Almost as if they never existed. Is that how little soldier is worth? What exactly do I have left to fight for? What is soldier honor? Not sure if it's five or six, but we'll find out in a second. Hey, oh. Suntan lotion? No. Never mind that. What is this? Are they putting me out to pasture? You could use some r and &R. I'm bored. That's it? I'm calling them. Director Lazard's not in. He's been missing for a while now. It was Lazard who was funding Hollander's research. Using the company's money. Are you serious? We're interrogating Hollander, so we should learn more soon. What's wrong with them? Hmm? People. What are they all thinking? The truth lies within each person. But even truth seems suspect once it leaves their mouths. <laughs> Cisne, go do something. Calling Aerith? How do you know that? Am I being watched? No, she's the one being watched. Who? Huh? That girl is an ancient. The only one left in the world. You didn't know? She... Never said anything. The only one left in the world, huh? She is one of a kind. Heads up! Genesis copies! <laughs> we have the Buster Sword. Genesis copies? And but we have to use an umbrella. I love how they have the little the little deep sea helmets on. A little bit of a longer fight. <clears throat> These guys are still around, but Genesis. Genesis may be around too. Huh? When the soul leaves the body, it returns to the life stream. Yeah, and? A river of souls circles the planet. Perhaps Genesis's soul is also. Controlling copies from the life stream? Is that what you're saying? Just a supposition. In any case, your vacation's over. 
Come with me. Junan is under attack by an unknown force. And that was cool to see Zach with his shirt off. I want to see... Okay, that sounded kind of pervy. I want to see all the Final Fantasy VII characters. I'll say with different outfits. Not necessarily with their shirts off. Okay, now wielding the Buster Sword, Zack has learned to take a battle stance. By expending AP, Zack can change to a stance which has a guarding effect. Uh, square and X is take battle stance. When the battle stance, when in the battle stance, the attack command is changed to strong attack, which greatly increases the impact of abilities. Furthermore, Zach does not flinch when attacked. I knew that there was going to be something with the not flinching thing. Uh, strong attack during battle stance. The more Zach uses the Buster Sword, the greater his proficiency bo bonus or becomes with the weapon, which in turn provides many beneficial effects. During battle. For this reason, you should use battle stance and strong attack along with abilities as often as possible. Alright. Now wielding the Buster Sword, Zack has gained the Necro Necrosmos effect. Necrosmos restores a little MP and AP every time Zack defeats an enemy with attack or abilities. This'll do! This is gonna sting! So it's kind of like Punisher mode in Remake. Hollander is in Junon now. His presence can't be a coincidence. Junon. It's not over yet, is it? We'll evacuate the residents. You work on securing Hollander. I'm securing Hollander? Don't you need me on the battlefield? Hollander has top secret information. The president says he's priority one. With Director Lazard absent, soldiers' chain of command is shaky at best. These attackers exploited that weakness. Zach, you're the only one who can move freely. You must secure Hollander. Hollander is being held at the 8th level detention center in Upper Juno. Use the emergency elevator to go up. It's at the end of this path. Zack, we need this. He's still being interrogated. He can't fall into enemy hands. Okay, I'll go. So I suppose I'll start with the level 4 stuff. So, here we go. That Buster Sword is a pretty serious deal. But I forgot to use the Buster Sword stance, Buster or whatever you call it, stance the, for the proficiency. Ooh, I get a, a, a Thundaga if I complete this mission. He's just a little guy. Activating combat mode. Taking you down if oh no you don't. Hands up. That's enough. How about 
this. This is gonna sting. Conflict resolved. So I think I have to keep on going to that stance for every everything that I do. But that's okay. I'll get used to that. This one is for Modeoheim. This doesn't look like Mod Modeoheim. And do I have... Oh, I guess I don't need any treasure. No. Venom Shock. That's cool. Alright, where's the beastie? Oh, it tells me. There she is. Activating combat mode. How about this? Gotta love this! Bye now! Oh no, you don't! I got a Venom Shock. Okay, I already did that one. Major Offenses. Get a Lightning Armlet from this. So far, these are all enemies that I've fought in this game before. So I'm looking forward to seeing anything new any, or anything from the original Final Fantasy VII. Like Slaps was really cool. And Hungry, you know, some of those really interesting ones. the there's the treasure chest over here it's a weak against them I forgot I think it's like blizzard or something but I'm not sure They already had healing wave from the last time, I think. Good luck. Thanks. Taking you down if oh no you don't. Take that. Oh, that's cool that it does the. It brings them back to Wu Tai. But I'm guarded for that, buddy. He's guarded again. Stop. I keep on forgetting. Here we go. That's enough. Heads up. This is gonna stay. Oh, he 
took me right out. No, you don't. We can't have them calling for back. Oh, see, I have to get right out of the way. If he does that, I have to dodge after. Heads up! Gonna love this! You're in for it now! Concentrate. I'm feeling it! Okay, I think I figured out if I just like go into that stance and then immediately use an ability, I think that's what I think that's what they said to try to do to increase the proficiency for the Buster Sword. Which makes sense. But that one took a couple of tries. Nice to have a, a nice little challenge. Ooh, the coral mines. Another one of those guys. Activating combat mode. Taking you down a peg. Heads up. Bye now. How about this? Taking you down a peg. Heads up. Bye now. Here we go. 
So Hojo's Lab, let's see if there's going to be something else in here that we haven't seen before in this game yet. Oh, stupid Genesis. I hope that last Hojo's Laboratory one isn't uh, Angeal. Because that would be kind of annoying. Just to redo all of those fights again. They do that a lot in these types of games. Activating 
combat mode. All right, so I defeated Angel. I wonder if Angel will be uh, a fightable character in the um, in that the I never remember what it's called the Chadley thing, the Chadley Dome. I'm just gonna call it the Chadley Dome because I can't remember. Uh, if I think about it long enough, I always remember what it is. The simulator, the combat simulator, um, which is I guess what all of this is. The Chadley Dome. Give me a break. Okay. How many more of these things? Okay. I guess I'm just gonna keep on going with this. At least for another little bit longer, cause and then we'll continue with the story, which is what I look forward to doing. Activating combat mode. Here are my buddies. I think for those I need some fire, some Fira. These are these are my favorite enemies, I think. I think they are. Activating combat mode. These little guys. Oh, I didn't mean to do stop. Here we go. 
set fire to these little little guys. Oh, yeah. So there's nothing over here. Maybe this is where I came from. I get a little turned around sometimes. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's funny how when I'm Activating combat mode. in whatever mode that is that will. That's funny. I just like take them out. Oh, when I'm in so. when I'm in whatever mode that is that uh, I I'm invincible essentially. It's I still get stunned. I don't know why. Well, I don't. I'm sure I don't know why. Okay, go this way. Activating combat mode. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. They're just gonna keep on wailing on me, I guess. I'm Zach. What's your name? Oh, is that a? Hold on a second. Oh, hey, Sung. I'm a little busy, so I'll be a little late. Um, Sung. behind you? Hmm. Yeah, Sung. Are you done being busy? <laughs> I didn't know that was a Sung point. I love that. That's great. I maybe I saw that, but I don't oh, yeah. remember that. That is a funny cutscene, though. Activating combat mode. Oh yeah. Conflict resolved. Maybe I'll have to try fire on those guys in the original, because they seem to be kind of annoying. Oh, but that's why, because. I didn't have, I don't have uh, any materia in, during that time because Yuffie stole it all. At that point in the game, anyway. Oh, I can't go that way. Well, I got two out of three, so I should get the rest around this area. Oh, I see it. Oh yeah. This thing is strong against thunder, I think. Maybe. Needle kiss. I think those things are in well, I know they're in the original, but um This is this is uh I wanna compile maybe a list of of Final Fantasy VII enemies that show up in Crisis Core, but are not in Remake. That may be in Rebirth. Looking for items. Ooh, a Lunar Harp. There are a lot of Lunar Harps. I thought there was only one, but maybe they'll retcon that again for the for Rebirth. Oh, see, this is what I like. This is what I like. See it. Love to see it. I knew that would heal it, but I gotta do regular attacks with that one. Oh. Uh, am I ready? I don't know if I'm ready to fight that guy. Um. Oh, what the hell. I'll go for it. I have a death wish, I guess. Activating combat mode. Ah! Oh, okay. I can I can kill it as long as he doesn't oh, use yeah, that kitchen all... knife. Um But he that wasn't really I wonder if there's some kind of an achievement based on killing those guys. Because those are like this... I'm, I always get scared whenever I see those guys show up. Activating combat mode. Gotcha. 
Oh, no, that was. I didn't know they were called traps either. This is a lot of fun. I like these missions. I don't like the ones where I'm just like killing inept guards. Let's seek some more precious items from the coal mines. Some hero drinks from the coal mines. I always look behind me first to make sure that there's nothing there. Dark matter. If I take them that out, that if they, I take them out that quickly with just magic like that, then it's nice because I get all my magic back. Oh, is it? This is the guy. Are you the guy? Activating combat mode. Oh, it's a death claw. I love these guys. Activating combat mode. Oh, yeah. resolved. Another quick mission. Doc's something. I don't know who Doc is, but it's one of his. Ooh, I wonder. When I think of Doc, I th I think of um, Bugenhagen. Hasn't shown up in any of the uh, any of the compilation games, <laughs> as far as I'm aware. This isn't gonna have any deep ground stuff in it, is it? Wonder if it's all gonna be just oh, yeah. fire weak enemies. I'm gonna just blaze through them. Maybe that's the intention. Slaps is a lot harder when you can't use magic. Go down, I'll go down. And across, and over. That last treasure chest. Oh, this thing looks scary. Is it a gargoyle? Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Conflict resolved. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the way to do it. You just stay at a distance and just keep shooting it with fire. Kill it with fire. Gotta say, not a fan of the divers. Cause they're just another version of soldiers. What a fin kick. I mean, I guess they're just a other version of uh, the Hella Troopers. Okay, hate Sith. Courage boost.
an X potion to replace the one I accidentally got rid of. What was that? Oh my goodness. It's kind of creepy sound. Creepy looking. Thanks, Master Zack. I want to know what that was, though. Display, as always. It's too bad about that last mission. Well, it happens to us all. <laughs> my inexperience impacted my performance. Practice always trumps theory on the field of battle. No, I thought you might be feeling down, but you're taking it well. Master Zack. I will show you one day the power I've gained under your tutelage. Uh, yeah. Good day, sir. I wonder if that ends up being Roche. <laughs> that would be great. That'd be so funny. And I mean, I don't know. It would be out of character with like it wouldn't. It would be completely look like a completely different person. But um, I still think that would be great. I didn't get these ones. Activating combat mode. That's all the treasure here. Activating combat mode. Taking you down a bit. Heads up. That one was a bit too long. Oh, 
Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Activating combat mode. I will never get tired of seeing this cutscene. Treasure Hunter, I'm going to run into Yuffie again, it looks like. And I got three treasures to find, <gasps> in addition to the, the one that I have to find. Drain Rock. Crazy Saw. Is that a better name than I don't know? Whatever they, what do they call them? Activating I don't remember what they called them. In uh, the other, the other game. Skip that on accident. <laughs> oh, not again. Ugh, little brat. <sighs> Ooh, a Moogle. That's cute. Is that going to be what the demon wall looks like? It'll be similar, but not exactly the same. Activating combat mode. Oh! Hello! Dorky face, or whatever your name is. Pumpkin head. Dorky face. Is that the name of the... I think that's the name of the. Um, oh, I think it stole my AP. I don't think I've used all that AP. Firaga. I'm getting some high spell, high uh, spells now. Oh, yeah. 
Those are the types of weird enemies that I love seeing. All right. Looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Oh, he just says the same thing. Ah, found it. Each time. Gotcha. Little brat! She thinks because I feel bad for making her cry, she can do whatever? Next time I see her, she's gonna pay. Yeah, but I still keep on getting items, even though she steals the treasure from me. I think there's one more in that line of missions. But it might be level 5, so we might see that next time I do missions. Yep, that's right. Okay. Find the Tonberry. This is a level two, so this should be really simple. So maybe Tonberries aren't as bad in this game. I had a feeling it would be behind that corner. There's a tonberry. Activating combat mode. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That one's pretty easy. I mean definitely compared to the one in remake. The one in remake was rough, but I liked it. It was, it was a really good really good battle. So I'm looking for a chef's legendary knife. From somebody who's never played this game on the PSP, I love this game. This is great. Maybe I'll love it a little less when they're coming at me like this. I'm trying to hug the walls so that I don't encounter any tonberries unnecessarily. And they're not really particularly weak to anything, so I think I'm going to change to something that I could also use. Uh, Fear of Blade. And actually, maybe. Let me just see what we got. Do I have Thundaga? Yes. Oh, I have all three. Thundaga, Firaga. Alright, so I'm upgraded again. Cool. Activating combat mode. Okay, so this is leading up to another image on the DMW. Which, Tonberry, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like to see that. Oh, I can go all the way back there. All right, I'm gonna hug the wall just so I can really quickly go, go through without hitting any battles. Especially because this is a level three and I'm already, I've already completed a lot of the level four ones. So I just wanna get the might run into a couple battles here and there, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully I could avoid most of them. I hug the wall like a rat. Alright, so their kitchen knife didn't kill me. In fact, it it wasn't really that strong at all. So maybe I'm just 
Oh, more powered than... Oh, oh hello. Um, elixir? Use it on me. No, how do I do this? Oh, use jump. I don't know how to use jump. Oh, I have jump. Okay. So maybe... Hang on, let me see if I can get back into a fight with that thing. Oh, Master Tonberry. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be the life-ending knife thing. Yeah, so it's a master oh, yeah, Tonberry with the star above its head that... Murderous Thrust. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so it's a regular Tonberry that the gang fought in the original one. Or, I mean, in Remake. Alright, I think that's it for now. I thank you for having taken on so many missions on behalf of the City Planning Department. With the last mission completed, the series of city development projects is over. We could not have come this far without you, Zach, and thanks I'm sending you a flyer for the accessories shop in Sector 6. They are known to carry all the accessories anyone could want. Feel free to use the services this shop has to offer, and I hope you continue your duties for your company. Orders. There's nothing but a, ro a roster inside that HR chest. Ooh, this is making me so mad. If you botch this next one, you're fired, Buster. Somewhere in the coal mines are supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's secretaries. Find it, but it isn't going to be easy. I'd say you better be prepared for the worst. Then again, you could die before you're prepared. The coal mines are famous for having really mean monsters inside. Nasty pictures. Ew, sickos. Are Shinra's employees trained to put trash in their treasure chests? That's it. Everyone in Shinra is going to get it someday. Somewhere in the marine caves, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's science department. I'm taking it. If you don't want me to take it, come and claim it. I challenge you to a duel. Winner takes all. It's go time. Alright, so this is what I can get from the new accessory shop. And that's it. So, um, we'll see you next time where we finish this uh, chapter... Let's see what it is. Chapter 6. It is Chapter 6. Okay. So, see you guys next time. <laughs>